Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Mono Joy. Uh, in the last video of the function 9.1, I have explained the basic things of the functions. So what you mean by domain and the range, and how we can find like which are the inverse functions, like when possible or not. So in this uh, question number three, we have the equation functions here. Domain is given minus one, three, and five. We need to find the image of set f image or we can say the range so both are same actually so in question number three part a we have to put all the values of this domain in the given equation we can write this function like this f of x equals to 4x plus 2 the first value is minus 1 so when we put minus 1 it's coming 4 minus 1 plus 2 is minus 4 is minus 2. So when you substitute 3, 4 times 3 and plus 2 is 14. When you substitute 5, so 4 times 5 plus 2 is 22. So these, like we can write the set of the range is coming minus 2, 14. In 22. So basically, we are doing like uh, when the domain is given, finding a range. It's a very simple topic. So maybe I would, I will not be doing all the questions of this exercise. So when we move to part B, in part B is given a function is this. We can write the function also like this: a upon x minus a. Given that, okay, this f of 2 is equal to 3. This is the important part. This is called the domain. And this is called the range. When you substitute some value here, this is called the domain. And this is the range. So what, how we, we will solve this part. What we have to do. Like I have to put f of 2 first. Then a upon 2 minus a. Then afterward, this f of 2 is also given is equals to 3. So I will write 3 is equals to a upon 2 minus a. We need to do the cross multiplication. And this is coming 6 minus 3 a equals to 3. And sorry, a. And this will become 6 equals to 4 a. And a equals to 3 upon 2. When you simplify 6 upon 4 will become a equals to 3 upon 2, so we have done it. Uh, in question number 4, sorry, we, we have one more part here. Uh, we need to find f of 3 then. So f of 3 means when you got the value of, like, sorry, we have got the value of, uh, like here, x is, a is, like we got the value of a is coming, 3 upon 2 upon x3 upon 2 even you can write 1.5 there is no problem so you, you can just put the value 3 and simplify 3 minus 3 upon 3 so is 1.5 divided by is also 1.5 so it's coming 1 so this is the way like here you can do it question number 4 uh let's see what we have in question number 4 in question number four, the function is given in G, okay. 3 plus 6x minus 1. This is like actually what this, this cannot be like 1. When you write 1 minus 1, it's coming 0. We cannot have any fraction with denominator 0. Please remember. So this is actually not a big issue. Find the images of the given domain we need to put the value here like put the value here in x and we can simplify uh, given that the image of a is 2 this is actually i should explain you the image of a image of a means the f of a is 2a this is domain and this is image same thing we did here like uh, explain you here the image of a is 2a find the possible values of a so in, in this part what we have to do so this is this is g okay so what we have to do like g of x i will write here g of a 3 plus 6 
x minus 1, then here I will write the value g of a is equals to 2a. And I have to write also a here because x, then 2a is equals to 3 plus 6 upon a minus 1. You can move 3 in right hand, like left hand side, 2a minus 3 is equals to 6 upon a minus 1. Then actually it's a quadratic uh, uh, equation, so you can have two values of x, like a. 2a minus 3 will multiply with a minus 1 and 6. So when you multiply, you cannot write 2a minus 3 equal to 0 because this should be 0, not 6. 2a minus 3 is not equal to 6. So 2a will multiply with this 2a square minus 2a minus 3a and plus 3 and minus 6 equal to 0. 2a square minus 5a and minus 3 equal to 0. Multiply to get 6 and minus to get 5. I think the factors are, if I'm not wrong, 6 and 8. And 2a is common, a minus 3. Nothing is common means 1, a minus 3. We have same brackets. a minus 3 and 2a plus 1 equal to 0. So from here, you can get two answers. A is coming 3 and A is coming minus 1 upon 2 and we have done it. So this is the way we have done question number 3 and 4. In question number 5, if you see question number 5, uh, equation is given the function. Images of 1 and 5 are, okay, 1 and 5 are minus 2 and 10. It means we have to write in this way. The image, like images of 1, and 5 are okay. Image of 1 is to minus 2, and the image of 5 is 10. So, just we need to put the value in the equation like f of 1 is equals to a1 plus b, and then here I have to write 2 like minus 2 equals to a plus b. Here, f of like again I put the value in the equation f5 is equals to a 5 plus b then here i will write 10 10 equals to a plus b now we have two simultaneous like two equations so we can solve it by using simultaneous equation method and i think so you can find it uh, in b part the domain of f is this find the range of f. it means when you know the value of a and b like if i find uh, it's not no no something wrong because it cannot be like this. Sorry, this is fine here because otherwise there is no possibility to solve. So okay, I am solving a equals to minus two minus b. I put the value here. Ten is equals to five minus two minus b and plus b. Ten is equals to minus ten minus five b and plus b. From here, you can get the value is coming minus 4b and b is coming minus 5. Sorry, when we I have some mistakes, sometimes it's possible. So, then I can put the value here, minus 2 and minus 5. So, it's coming, minus 2 and plus 5 is coming 3. So now, the new function is f of x is now, ax means 3x and minus 5. Now you can find, put all the values of the domain, 1, 3, and 5, and get the range. It's very simple now. Uh, in question number 6, this quadratic equation is there. Find the value of a, b, and c means this is domain, this is domain, this is domain. And I use the different color because this is range, this is range, this is range, but this is the range from 3, this is the range from 1, this is the range from minus 2. So like uh, uh, you have to write like this, when you write f like 3 is equals to 20, 32, so equation will become, you can write the equation f of uh, x is equals to ax squared bx plus c, this you will write 3 and you write 3 squared and see this f of 3 is 32 
So write 32 is equals to 9a plus 3b and plus c. This is the first equation you have. So by using this 3, like 3 here, you can have 3 equation and you can find easily a, b and c. Uh, I, I have no idea this, uh, can you do the uh, simultaneous equation with 3 equations? Or should I do this part? Okay, let me do it. This is how we can do it actually. Okay, when we write 1, there 1, so it will become 1 squared. 1. This 1 is equals to 6. A plus B plus C. This is the uh, second equation. And when we write the third equation with F minus 2, this coming uh, 4a and this f of minus 2 is minus 3 minus 2b and plus c. Now we have three equations. So how we can deal with three equations to find the value of a, b and c? Let's see what we write here that we can uh, simplify first two equations like here I can write 6 is equals to a plus b and plus c and I would like to use the elimination method 4a minus 2b and plus c if I change all the sign like if I minus this this is minus this sign is cancelled this sign is cancelled so this will be plus this is plus so this will become minus and this is cancelled so this will become plus and this is cancelled out now you have 9 is equals to minus 3a and plus 3b. Even you can simplify like dividing by 3. It's coming 3 equals to a plus sorry, minus a plus b. Now what you can do? Now you can use equation number first. 32 is equals to 9a plus 3b plus c and use any other equation once again uh, 6 equals to a plus b plus c and you need to change all the sign so this will become minus 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 and minus this is cancel out there is no sign of this so now you have 32 minus 6 is about 26 then you have 8a and then you have plus 2b so 26 8 divided by 2 you can make this equation a little bit like easy 13 is equals to 4a plus b this equation number okay this is equation number 4 this is equation number 5 now what do you have to do you have to use equation number 4 and 5 to find the value of a and b you can get the value of a and b then after using a and b you can put a b in any of the equation equation 1 equation 2 or equation 3 and you can get the value of c this is like your the practice part of the simultaneous equation so part 2 is b is the positive number of x whose image is 2 so like uh, what we have like we have to put the value fx equals to 2 and like images to remember images to means the f of x is equals to 2 so i have to write this value here here 2 is equals to a the value for a from here a b c and you can solve for uh the set of numbers whose image under f is 2. Uh, okay, then uh, it means you have to put the value, the set of numbers whose image is under 2. So you have to put the value 2 here and get the answer. The main part was like the first part to find the value of a, b, and c. Uh, I'm not doing question number 7. I just want to explain the question number 7 is similar as question number 6. Equation is given, you can see. 
find the value of a and b when domain in range domain in range you can get the value of a and b uh, the element that has an image 8 under the mapping so it means uh, we have to write fx equals to 8 and then you can find the value of x this when the image is it you can get all the values for like you have to find the domain actually so find the two okay this is the same like you have to put fx is equals to x and put the get the answer uh in question number eight uh is this one Domain is 0, image is 2, domain is 2, image is also 2, find the value of A and B, this is, there is no problem, this part, there is no problem, uh, like uh, we have to put domain, like fx equals to 2 and we can solve it like this, x here, when you know the value of A and B, then you can write x here and you should know the value of A and B and you can get the answer. Uh, this part actually to show that what we have to do in the equation you have to put p f p first here then you have to uh, put f minus p then and we have to add it when you have the result in left hand side then in right hand side what you have to do you have to like put the value p square in the original equation and multiply by 2 this result and this result when you plus is coming it will be coming same this is the way we have to show that uh, in question number nine actually uh, this is very simple exercise for the beginners i think so we need the solution but i think so there is no problem but the most important thing is question number 10 onward because we are finding the range so please remember uh, the range topic is like when you have a linear linear equation linear equation and when we have a quadratic equation both are having 100% different method to find the range we cannot use the same method as we use in linear equation to find the range for the quadratic equation so please uh, I think so the the video for to find the range in the quadratic function will be the most important video in function uh, If you think this uh, video is useful for you once again, I would like to say as please like my uh, Video subscribe my channel. Please uh, let's uh, share with your friends your class fellows so that uh, They can understand in this situation as, as we are facing here. So once again, thank you so much and have a nice day.